Wow, the lake sure is beautiful. I'm going to set up camp right over there, about 200 feet from the trail and 300 feet from the lake. What I carry in my haversack are things that I need to get at quickly while I'm hiking. Uh, they include tripod, camera gear, little sandwich, my lunch for today, a canteen. There's a, it's really nifty here. There's a separate little pocket in the haversack for the canteen. And then in the side pockets, I have different things. This side pocket has uh, first aid stuff. And this pocket has a collapsible shovel and some paper. And this pocket has everything for safety, a whistle, a compass, an extra little bit of food in case I get hungry, and an emergency light. In my Alice pack, I'm carrying different things in the small pockets. Fuel, alcohol, This is my alcohol stove, and it's a really neat little stove. I've got aluminum foil with it. A flint and fire steel st uh, sparker. And this particular uh, burner has a polished bottom. And so this little alcohol stove, if I have any problems and I can't get a fire started and it's sunny, I can start a fire with the bottom of the stove. And I've done that in one of my previous videos. Very simple little kit. And then in this pocket, a bottle of water. I also have a Sawyer water filter, a Sawyer squeeze. And in my third pocket, I have uh, flashlights. I have two different flashlights. Inside the main pack, I have plastic bags. Plastic bags are in the top because uh, I didn't bring a poncho this time. And one plastic bag has a hole cut in it for the poncho. I can easily wear it as a poncho. And I'm going to use these two plastic bags to make my bivy shelter, my bivy tent. Dried food in a double locked container. Another plastic bag. I have some metal tent stakes with um, some line to go with it. I could have used the wood that's out here, but I thought this would be easier. And then some netting. And this keeps the mosquitoes away. I bought this at Walmart. You don't have to buy anything special in terms of types of netting. That works very well. And this is an extra small sleeping pad. So this is a very nice self-inflating sleeping pad that is small. That's the key thing here. And then a sleeping bag. So I don't have any tent. I'm going to be making the tent out of a trash bag. I'll be sleeping for, with comfort in this nice uh, sleeping bag. This one goes down to 15 degrees and the predictions are that it may freeze tonight. So I'll be comfy warm in this. Uh, I'm going to set up camp now.
the bivvy's all set up. Do you see it back there? I'm going to walk down to the lake and walk around and find a nice spot to fix dinner. Bon appetit! Fresh water, chicken fajitas, and for dessert, cookies! It's pretty cozy in here. I'm nice and warm. And since both ends are open, it's ventilated with just a screen on the ends, it should stay um, pr pretty dry tonight. There shouldn't be too much condensation in the morning. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. See you guys in a few hours. Good night. Good morning. I just woke up. The sun will be coming up in about an hour. The weather's changing. It's really getting windy and the temperature's dropping. I guess we're having a storm come in. Uh, this little bivy is holding up pretty well. It's comfortable and warm. There's just a little bit of condensation in it, but I'm keeping my head right near the screen on the, on the outer end, and so I'm not breathing more of moisture into the tent. It's getting light. Sunrise is going to be beautiful. Here, you want to look? Right out here.
Leave no trace. Leave no trace. Leave no trace. Sack, sack, sack your trash. Put it in a bag. Pack it on your back, cause leaving it's a drag. Sniff, sniff, sniff the flowers. Leave them where they grow. Endangered plants you pick today. Your friends may never know. Camp, camp far away from the fragile shore. And when you do, you'll save the lake the water we're working for. Leave, leave, leave no trace with your camping gear. Cause no one, no one in the woods should ever know you're here. Think, plan, and be aware in nature's pristine place. In wilderness, we are guests. Protect the special space. Leave no trace. Leave no trace. Leave no trace. My channel has now grown to more than 10,000 subscribers. When I started it a few years ago, I never expected that it would become this large. Thank you. I really appreciate your support, encouragement, and friendship. As a thank you, I offer the following challenge to subscribers. Remove trash that other people have left from your favorite hiking trails and camping areas. Whenever there is trash, it causes people to leave more trash, and pretty soon these areas become, well, like garbage dumps. Make a video response about what you do and post the link to the comments section below this video. Also send me a personal message, personal note, so that I know that you uh, have submitted a video response. You can pick up the trash any way you want. Just be a good role model. The deadline for submission is April 15th. Any subscriber worldwide can enter this contest. If you are under 18, please obtain permission from your parents or guardians. The winner will receive a Sawyer Squeeze water filter. Now, it's a new one, not this one that's used. And a spoon that I've made with a hand-carved handle and mussel shells that I found here on Lake Conroe. It's been connected together with pine pitch uh, glue, pine pitch resin, and that is right here. You'll get as a throw-in. I'll, I'll throw in some extra pine pitch resin for you. This is the epoxy glue of, of the ancients. Stay safe and have fun. Until next time, Peace.